Praise God. Praise God. God has saved this baby. He don't do no more drugs no more. Praise God for that. Cola. That's all he do. Patton Towers is a high-rise um, apartment building. Right in the heart of downtown Chattanooga um, that houses about 250 residents. All the people who are there um, are there because they're on some kind of disability. I got congestion heart failure. 27 surgeries. High blood pressure, liver failure. I do prescription drugs because I'm in a lot of pain. So I went into a coma. I stayed in a coma 13 days. I used to shoot heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine. I tried to go to crack rock. I got sugar diabetes and high blood. Congestive heart failure. I shouldn't even be alive today, but I ain't. When I go to church, um, if I have any empty seats in my, in my car, I like to stop along downtown to see if there's maybe some homeless person that would like to come along. It basically started when one of our students went down to the Patton Towers to give a Bible study and he wanted to bring that person to church. But he couldn't get to church because he had a wheelchair and he couldn't get to the church. And he said, um, but hey, why don't you guys do church services here? And so then was born the Patton Towers Project. first person I met, um, her name was Mildred. She was a very extroverted person. Um, she knows everybody in the building. Before they came in this building, Pantai was about to get closed down. She almost somewhat adopted me as, as her son, and um, she, she, she kind of posed the question to me, you know, hey, you want to do a group Bible study in my house? You know, I'd be more than willing to invite people. And, and still, Ten Commandments. That's right. What's that word? Meditate day and night. I think the people that I've gotten to know the most at the Patent Towers is Star, and she's the one that we have been studying with for the last about a semester. Phoebe should be called Smiley because she never quits smiling. She's a real patient person. She'll make a good nurse. It was a blessing yesterday because we were studying about um, judging because we read the verse about how God is the one that's supposed to judge people and not us. And she's like, oh man, I shouldn't have judged my friend that was coming for a cigarette. She's like, you know, forgive me, Lord. She realized right there just with reading that verse that what she had done was wrong. I enjoy going to church. I enjoy Bible study. I enjoy reading the Bible. And I pray every day that I can learn more from the Bible. And I hope they keep coming back because it works. Job don't come to people. You gotta get out there find them. Ain't that right? I'm I'm gonna try to find her a job somehow by going to a pastor or what the church offers. And if I can just show that I'm I'm trying my best to get her a job, and if she can show me that she she's trying her best to get herself a job, then my efforts aren't in vain. There's needs everywhere. I just want me a GD so I can go to college, get a degree in, degree in psychology and sign language, so I could be a token for me and home day. And so they, they, they say if, if you're not a missionary, then you're a mission field. It's about caring and sharing. You know what, what would God do? He would do the same thing. That's why I love y'all. If y'all ever leave me, I don't know what I do. Southern encourages students to get involved in as many ministries as they can. So besides the Patton Towers Project, I've given Bible studies to a non-Seventh-day Adventist church. Built churches and had evangelistic seminars in Mexico. I preached in the subways of New York City. Hung out with homeless people with interfaith ministry. Baked cookies for random strangers. Cleaned up Signal Mountain Roads. Donated bone marrow to a 50-year-old man with leukemia. Fellowshiped with residents in a nursing home. I was a teacher in Honduras for a year. We pray for people. I'm a blood donor. I've been a medical missionary. I taught English. Minister. A mentor. Assistant. Preach. Type. Watch. Built and sing. Help. Southern. Adventist. University. Here, I'm preparing for my future, and I also have opportunities to serve the world.